Hello! I'm super excited to start this course with you, but as always, we need to see where we're starting and where we're ending up so we have a clear path to becoming a React Native developer. So let's see what this course looks like for you. Now keep in mind that the goal of this course is for you to be able to build any mobile apps, both on iOS and Android, that you want. There's a reason that companies like Microsoft, Facebook, Walmart are heavily using React Native, and we're gonna learn all about it. So how do we start? Well, obviously the first thing we're gonna do is learn about the React Native foundations. How does it work? What is actually happening? How do we write code and then have that code work on our phones? Everything to do with mobile development, we're gonna learn in this section. But here's the thing, in order for you to learn React Native, you also need to learn React. Now, for some of you taking this course, you already have experience with React. But for those who don't, we actually offer a second path where you can do an introductory React section so you get familiar with the concept. For those that already know React, you can skip that section. Now, from there, we're gonna go right into building things. Our first app that we're gonna build is Focus Time. And this is a real app that you're gonna have on your phone that will actually make you more productive. Using the Pomodoro technique, you're gonna be able to have better study habits, so actually build a useful app that hopefully you can use throughout the course. In here, you'll learn all the basics about React Native and how to go from zero to having something on your phone. Now, one of the hardest things of being a mobile developer is the environment setup. So we're gonna make sure that we accommodate everybody, whether you are a Windows, Mac, or Linux user or you have an Android or an iOS phone, or no phone, we're going to use tools like Expo, Xcode, Android Studio, iPhone simulators, Android simulators, and other tools so that you can follow along this course no matter what tools you have and you get to pick the developer environment that you want. All right, so that was just the beginning of the course. We've built an app, we have some understandings of React Native, but nothing solid yet. Because to really learn a technology, you have to build things with it. You have to build big applications, big apps to truly understand the power and go off on your own and build something great. So we dive into our master project. That's right, this course is all about learning by doing. Once we have the basics, we're gonna start building our restaurant recommendation app called Meals To Go. Now you've already seen in the promo video what the app looks like. It looks really, really good. And we have a lot of features that we're gonna add. So as we learn about React Native, we're gonna build up this massive app that you'll be able to show off. We're gonna use things like React Navigation, which allows us to have multiple pages and navigation on our app. We're gonna learn about users and how to use things like Firebase to have user sign in, sign out, authentication a very important thing for almost any app. We're going to learn about styling our apps using tools like styled components and other tools around the web to build really pretty apps that look good. Now I know people get excited about this, so later on in the course, we're also going to implement Stripe payments so you can actually take payments from your app because, hey, if you're building an app, might as well make money out of it. But before we get into Stripe or all these payments, we're also gonna build a map feature on our app so that we can search for restaurants in different locations. And we're gonna use what most app use in this case, which is the Google Maps API. So you're gonna to learn to work with APIs as well. Finally, you also get to learn about animations. Mobile apps are interactive. You need to have good user experience. And in here, we're gonna use a very popular library by Airbnb called Lottie to learn about animations and how we can add animations to our app. It's gonna be a lot of fun. At the end of it all, once we've built up the code, once we've learned how to build apps using React Native, how to build large apps using React Native, that's when we get to have fun a bit and add a bit more styling to our app, different colors, different patterns, so that by the end of it, all of our apps are going to look unique so that it's not just a generic app that looks the same for everybody. We want you to be able to put this project on your portfolio and stand up. Oh, and I almost forgot. At the end of it all, we're gonna teach you how to actually deploy these apps to the App Store and Google Play Store because 
why else would we build an app? We are building an app so that we can distribute it to others around the world. So we're gonna learn all about that, both on iOS and Android, about device permissions, about styling and layout. And by the way, if I didn't mention this already, this course uses the latest version of React Native, which means, yep, that's right, we're gonna be using React hooks to build our app. And then finally, we're gonna also learn about how to debug our apps, how to improve them constantly, so that when we put them on the App Store or the Google Play Store and people report bugs, we know how to fix those. As you can see, we have a lot to cover, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. I promise you, we'll make it fun along the way. And as long as you give us your attention and focus, you'll come out of the other end a strong React Native developer. We're gonna take you from zero to mastery. But here's the thing, the best part of this whole course is our online private community of over 200,000 programmers. We have people chatting every day, helping each other out, solving problems, doing coding challenges together, and just talking about the latest news, the greatest tools in programming. This is an optional resource for you to use so you can have a back and forth conversation with other students and feel like you're part of a classroom. As instructors, we're also on there every day chatting with students. All right, you know what? That's a lot of talking from me. I wanna start building apps. I'm sure you want to start building apps too. So let's dive in, let's learn React Native.